Let's see what angelic message we have for you today. Be paying attention. The angels are trying to get our attention because there's been too many distractions. So let's listen up here. If you don't know me, I'm Michelle. This is Angel Souls. You can visit my website at angelsouls444.com uh, to schedule my standard reading. Or if you want to get a live session with me, you can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Just know once you schedule the live reading, it is not secured until payment is made. I have to say that. Why? People come in and say, oh, I'm going to reserve this date. And then they just never pay for it. And other people were wanting that time slot. So just keep that in mind. Okay. All right. So we have the number 14. We take the one, the four separately. Yes. So one is being the leader of your own existence, maybe being a leader to others. Four is angelic guidance, especially from your spirit guides and your uh, guardian angels. And then we would take those and add them together and make a five. Five is turnover. Five is shedding the old skin, letting that flow away. Now the card says solutions. It's Archangel Zadkiel. Zadkiel is all about transmutation, getting rid of what no longer serves you, being at peace with what is, and carrying on. I mean, that's basically what it comes down to. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience. Hold up. I feel like that's going to be really hard for some of you out there. <laughs> I actually felt like a jolt go through me. It was like, self-control? What? <laughs> that's so not like me. <laughs> Forgiving and healing energy. So again, it's sort of taking the good with the bad. It's, you know, I would call this reframing. It's, it's taking something that uh, maybe you always saw as like super stressful. Like, let's say you don't like your job, okay? And you're like, no, you don't understand. Uh, there's just a lot of work and it's a toxic work environment and whatever whatever right whatever the complaint is around the job well okay so maybe some days are better than others maybe you don't love the work maybe you've got a person or two like that you can't stand at work or whatever but what is what are you getting out of it what learning what training are you getting through that opportunity and what's more, especially from a spiritual standpoint, you know, there might be like that one person in the office that you really don't get along with, but how many others are you learning on a spiritual level from? And they're also learning from you. So Zadkiel teaches us the lesson to not just take everything at face value or to be super reactionary to what's going on in your day-to-day -day life knowing that that is reflecting something back to you. So if you're irritated by that one person, what is it that they are reflecting back to you? I, I often say what you see in another is also in you, but I don't mean that for everybody. If you're somebody who has gone through a lot of abuse in your past, and let's say there's like a narcissistic person around you, that would be a very damaging thing to say. What you see in another is also in you. That's almost like victim blaming, right? I don't mean that. What you might see in that person is their reaction to wounding and you are also wounded. That other person might not be very nice, but they want to be heard. You want to be heard. They want to be understood. They want to have some sense of control and power. And maybe you want that same thing for yourself. That's what Zodkill helps transmute, helps us understand the various layers and levels of situations. Now, that's not to make excuses for people. That's not what the message is. There's some bit of a solution coming in because you're evening out your energy field and you're saying, you know what? It's part of the story. It doesn't have to continue. If I don't want it to, I can find my way. All right, so that you can be at more, more at peace with your day-to-day -day life and with what you're creating. All right, we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.